and we have a choice. We can live in a world where the norm is one in which our identity is tied to every transaction, and we voluntarily give the power of complete financial surveillance to whichever government we elected last week, hoping that this one is a good one, and knowing that the next one could be just as crazy as the one before. Or, in many countries, knowing that there is not a good thing about them, that they are evil in action. We give the power of full financial surveillance over every human being on this planet to centralized authorities. We are walking down a very dark path, a path in which when you say the wrong thing, your bank account disappears. When you go to the wrong protests, your life savings disappear without judicial process, without question, without answer, without recourse. That is not a world I want to live in. And the alternative choice is a world that reestablishes the fundamental balance between the governed and the government. And that is a world in which individuals have transactional privacy as we have had for millennia without horrible things happening. Because most people use their money to buy food, shelter, health care, clean water, and to express themselves. We can live in a world where we have complete privacy, and governments have no secrecy to hide behind. They are forced transparency, which is the way the balance should work. We live in a world where there are no borders for our ability to trade and do commerce with the people of this planet, and a world in which everyone can participate. This is the choice we face today. The future is digital money. The question you have to ask yourselves is, what kind of future do I want to live in? And that is a really important question. <laughs>